China, as a country keen on infrastructure construction, has attached great importance to infrastructure after reform and opening up. A large number of major projects such as roads, bridges, and airports have sprung up all over the country. In addition, China has not only accelerated the pace of road and bridge construction in China, but also actively participated in global infrastructure construction and extended a helping hand to all parts of the world. On June 25, 2022, the Padma Bridge built by China to help Bangladesh was officially put into operation, and it created amazing economic benefits one year after opening to traffic toll revenue exceeded 7.9 billion tals. And this bridge, also called the Dream Bridge by the local people, has not only become their capital for showing off everywhere, but also used Chinese fighter jets to open the way at the inauguration ceremony. So, what is so magical about this bridge that it broke 7.9 billion towels in one year after opening? How was this bridge built? What difficulties and challenges did it encounter during the construction process? Let us learn more about it in this video. The Padma Bridge is a major infrastructure project in Bangladesh. It connects the southern part of the country with the capital Dhaka and other northern regions, crossing the Padma River. The river is a branch of the Ganges in Bangladesh. The idea of building this bridge was proposed as early as the 1990s, but the project has experienced long delays due to funding, technology and corruption allegations. Formal construction work began in 2014 and was undertaken by China Bridge Engineering Corporation. After years of construction, the Padma Bridge was finally completed and opened on June 25, 2022. The opening ceremony was held by Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in person. The Padma Bridge is about 6.15 kilometers, about 3.82 miles, long and is currently the longest bridge in Bangladesh. This project is not only the largest self-financed development project in the country's history. The total cost was initially estimated to be about 3 billion US dollars. According to official data, after all construction work was completed, the actual total cost of the Padma Bridge reached about 3.6 billion US dollars. The Bangladeshi people were overjoyed when the bridge was officially opened. To celebrate the opening of the bridge, Bangladesh held a series of grand and symbolic events. To remember this historic milestone, the Bangladeshi government took a highly symbolic measure issuing 10 million Taka commemorative coins with the majestic Padma Bridge as the main design element. And each one is a mobile souvenir. Their circulation and use in the market have invisibly enhanced the people's awareness and recognition of the achievements of national construction. In this celebration, there was also a warm and powerful scene. The Bangladeshi people held placards with the slogan, Bangladesh Loves China, which warmly and powerfully conveyed the friendly feelings between the people of the two countries. These slogans are not just expressions of words. They carry recognition of the results of cooperation between the two countries, gratitude for China's assistance and support, and a beautiful vision for further deepening cooperation in the future. The Padma Bridge witnessed a historic moment in the first year of its opening toll revenue exceeded 7.9 billion taka. This not only marks the immediate influence of the bridge in the field of transportation, but also highlights its strong boost to economic activities as a key infrastructure. The bridge is also known as the Dream Bridge. Vehicles travel at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour, and the waiting and detour time that originally took several hours or even half a day is shortened to just 10 minutes, greatly shortening the travel time between the two sides. 
The cumbersome and time-consuming reliance on ferries in the past has been fundamentally changed, greatly improving logistics efficiency and promoting personnel exchanges and cargo transportation. This milestone achievement is not only reflected in the direct benefits of tolls, but also has a more far-reaching significance in terms of its potential value for regional economic integration, promoting trade, enhancing regional connectivity, and driving the development of surrounding areas. The high income from tolls reflects the surge in traffic after the opening of the bridge, which indirectly proves its successful implementation as a national strategic project. The construction of the bridge faced great challenges. Because it is located in a tropical monsoon climate zone, it is rainy and humid. Especially in July and August, the water level of the Ganges will rise suddenly, causing a large amount of silt to accumulate in the riverbed, which brings thorny problems to the piling construction. The silt layer is too thick, which affects the depth of piling, and the stability of the bridge depends on the depth of the piers rooted in the riverbed. Therefore, the construction team must try to dig the riverbed, clean out a solid foundation, and then gradually fix the steel and cement. Working in a hot and humid environment, safety hazards are everywhere. And the danger is significantly increased in the construction link in the Ganges waters. During the construction, several safety accidents unfortunately occurred, resulting in casualties, which undoubtedly made the construction more difficult. In addition to being restricted by the natural environment, language barriers are also an important issue. On the construction site, Chinese workers speak Mandarin, local workers use Bengali, and workers from other countries use English, Hindi, and other languages. Due to differences in cultural background, it often happens that workers can't understand on the construction site. In order to solve the communication barrier, the engineering department had to hire a group of foreign language translation experts to assist, but the greater challenge was to adapt to the new living environment. The hot and humid climate and unfamiliar eating habits brought considerable physical and mental pressure to the workers. To alleviate these pressures, the engineering team specially hired local guides to help the workers familiarize themselves with the local environment and customs. In addition, they strictly required the workers to maintain a good lifestyle in the living camp to avoid unnecessary conflicts with the locals. In addition, since the steel box girder design and the overall pre-support construction process were used in Bangladesh for the first time, the lack of corresponding experience accumulation led to communication and understanding barriers, which put considerable pressure on the construction quality and progress. A large amount of building materials such as steel bars, cement, and asphalt required for the construction of the bridge need to be transported over long distances. Coupled with the poor local road conditions and imperfect port terminal facilities, material supply has become a major obstacle to the construction period. This huge project, costing billions of dollars, is a heavy burden for Bangladesh. In the middle of the project, the progress was hindered due to a shortage of funds. Fortunately, China provided financing support in time. In addition, other problems have also been properly resolved. In order to solve the problem of the pier foundation, they first improved the internal structure of the pier. The traditional method is usually to cast the pier with concrete, but the impact resistance of concrete is relatively weak. Therefore, the engineering team added a large number of steel bars inside the pier to build a reinforced concrete structure, which greatly improved the bearing capacity and compressive resistance of the pier, ensuring that the pier remains as solid as a rock when floods and mudslides hit. 
Language is the most basic communication tool, and communication barriers will undoubtedly seriously affect project coordination. In order to solve this problem, the engineering department specially sent a group of translation experts who are proficient in multiple languages to various key positions on the construction site to ensure that instructions are clearly communicated and work is carried out efficiently. At the same time, the project department also invited a number of local tour guides to provide cultural influence for the workers' lives and work, and try their best to eliminate the barriers caused by cultural differences. Throughout the construction process, the engineering team always maintained strict living discipline to be orderly and preventive. In the camp, alcoholism and fighting are strictly prohibited to ensure the physical and mental health of the workers. At the same time, workers are required to respect local customs and habits, get along with residents in a friendly manner, and avoid unnecessary conflicts and disputes. In addition, in response to the groundless accusations and smears of some Western countries, China has explained the original intention of building the Padma Bridge through various channels. This is by no means a so-called debt trap, but to support Bangladesh's infrastructure construction, improve local transportation conditions, and benefit the people of both countries. China has never attached any conditions, but expects both sides to make progress together on the basis of equality and mutual benefit. With the indomitable spirit of the engineering team and the support and answers from China in politics, the Padma Bridge was finally fully connected in June 2022. It stands on the Ganges with a steel-like tenacity, witnessing the deep friendship between the people of China and Bangladesh. This moment is a historic moment worth remembering for the people of both countries. For Bangladesh, the Padma Bridge closely connects the East and West Banks, greatly shortening the transportation time and distance of personnel and materials, and will surely inject new vitality into economic and social development. For China, this also demonstrates its engineering construction capabilities and friendly assistance concepts. The construction of this bridge not only shortens the actual distance between the two countries by hundreds of kilometers, but also brings the two peoples closer together on a spiritual level. In the future, vehicles will speed on this steel dragon, goods will continue to shuttle, and the economic and trade cooperation between the two countries will surely enter the fast lane. For Bangladesh, the Padma Bridge is not only a victory in infrastructure construction, but also a landmark event in the country's modernization process, symbolizing the country's determination and pace towards a more prosperous future. In the long run, the opening of the Padma Bridge will play an immeasurable role in enhancing Bangladesh's overall competitiveness and even deepening regional cooperation under the Belt and Road Initiative. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.